Hey, this is Pastor Dave coming to you with your Monday mojo. Here we are in this quarantine time, right? Living in Marion County, which means we've got a lockdown or a stay-at-home order until May 15th. But it's been a good weekend. Hope you had a good one. I know I did. So I probably have said this before in one of these many mojos, but it's something that I'll never forget. When my brother Dan and I would uh, come home from college at Indiana University, uh, at Christmas time, we would, you know, be around the church and the people. And, and when it got closer to the end of the Christmas break, people would say, well, when do you have to go back? And my brother, Dan, who's always been quick-witted and funny, still is, by the way, Dan, he would say, uh, no, 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 when do we get to go back to college? You know, it's, it's a different way of looking at things, right? You know, when do I have to? When do I get to? Well, one of the things about this coronavirus period is that so many people are getting to learn something new. Now you could look at it one way and say, I have to learn how to do this. Or you could look at it and say, I get to. For instance, um, I, I recently heard a story about um, surgeons who are now helping out in ER kind of situations. And, and the guy said, yeah, we're reintroducing them to a stethoscope. So they're relearning stuff that they knew before and, and how to do they haven't done for years. Or, for instance, um, David Woods, a longtime friend of Laura's, is a columnist for the Star and mostly writes about Butler and, and Olympics and sports, but he's writing obituaries right now because many of the writers at the Star are covering coronavirus kinds of things right now. And it's part of his skill set, but it's not something he's done in a long time. Or parents, parents who are now home with their kids um, and the school year is not over yet, and so they're doing some homeschooling. Parents who never decided that they were going to do homeschooling are learning how to do something different. It's a tremendous time of learning. It's a tremendous time of being open to, to trying new things and learning new things. And, you know, if you're one of those people that has to have all the answers and have it all figured out, I, I guess you could live that way, but life is going to be just, mm, you got it all figured out, right? But if you're open to learning and trying new things and well maybe it doesn't go so well at first i'm going to tell you learning how to do worship the different way um, with the live stream and the audio and the video and now outside drive in and fm transmitter every single week mark and i have been learning something new but it's a tremendous way to be what about you what about you what what areas in your life are you getting to learn something new. And it matters not whether you're uh, 6 or 56 or 76. What, what areas are you getting to learn something new in? Not, I have to. That's one way to look at it, but of course that makes this time seem like a drudgery where it could seem like a brand new experience and adventure in learning something brand new. We could all come out of this with more knowledge, more understanding. But even, even better, if it turns us into the kind of people that say, I got to put myself in a learning position, then we will come out of this as better human beings going into what will be the, here's the phrase I can't stand, the new normal, right? We will, we will be the kind of people who look at life and say, I need to put myself in a learning posture. Maybe, maybe that's one of the things that this coronavirus could teach us how to learn. Anyway, that's my thoughts for your Monday Mojo this week. Have a good one.